In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial of using Adobe Draw to brainstorm and sketch ideas for this class. Begin by opening your Adobe Draw app. In the bottom right hand corner, you're going to select the orange plus sign. This starts a new project. Let's choose letter. So the letter is like a sketchbook page. I'm going to pinch it down to be a little bit smaller because I like to see the borders of the paper. If you've never used the app before, you can see on the left hand side you have different brushes. They have different shapes, styles. We're going to use the round brush for this project. If I double click, I can get the size, opacity, and color options. Believe it or not, you want a rather small brush size if you are not zoomed in. On the right hand side, you have your draw layer and background. Make sure before you begin drawing, you're on your draw layer. So. I'm going to just actually label this page chop brainstorm now I'm going to zoom in I'm going to pinch out and just begin by thinking about the initials um, for my name so dr are my initials so I'm going to keep that in mind when I am designing a chop. So this is essentially the stamp that's going to go on the bottom of all of our projects. I want to create an interesting way to combine my initials um, into my own little signature stamp. This is something that almost all patterns have and use um, and is unique to their own artwork. I might start by playing with different ways to write my initials, so maybe I will do cursive to begin. So I like enclosing it in that kind of circle. I think I like that one best. So I could either leave those um, before or I could jump back to my brushes, grab the eraser, and just get rid of the ones that I didn't like so much. Now I might also try printing my letters. So maybe I try stacking them. And maybe I enclose in a rectangle. That's kind of cool. I like that one. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my eraser and make sure it's not too large and still too big. Clean that up a little bit. So that's an interesting idea. Now I might try, um, maybe I'll try something more organic. So uh, D and R, so maybe I do a forward forward D and a backwards R. That could be kind of cool. Let me try that again. So maybe I like that one and this one, maybe I will enclose in more of an oval shape. It's kind of cool. Could clean this up a little bit. Nice. So the more you play with ideas, how to combine them, you might come up with things that you really didn't anticipate. Um, but I suggest that you try as many combinations as you can. You can also, you know, add some extra like doodles to it. Maybe I changed the shape completely. So play with these and let's see how many ideas we can come up with. Um, we want different combinations, but making sure that each combination is enclosed. This will become a stamp. So we can't have just, you know, free floating letters. They need to be within a circle or within a square, um, within any sort of shape you want. You could do a diamond maybe. I do like D 
are. Maybe something like that. Who knows? But making sure that each idea is enclosed inside some sort of shape will be required for transforming these ideas into actual chop stamps.